Just last run of the day, a little tired, a little lazy. The last hurrah on the slopes at Breckenridge. Kind of caught a front edge and came down pretty hard on my on my shoulder and head area. And, and just like that, Anthony Monraz broke his collarbone. They, they did deem that it was necessary to have surgery right away. But he quickly found out that surgery in the age of COVID-19 and right away may not belong in the same sentence. One of the many ways that life has been disrupted during this worldwide pandemic. We are again today uh, asking every American and our medical community leaders uh, and hospitals to partner with us in delaying elective procedures uh, across the country in our healthcare system to ensure that medical supplies and medical capacity go where they're needed most. But despite Vice President Pence's plea, we found different healthcare organizations handling the situation differently. Elective surgeries, for instance, suspended or canceled at Kaiser Permanente, Denver Health, Children's Hospital Colorado, and National Jewish Hospital, cut back at Centura Health, and still going on at Health One. At Health One's Medical Center of Aurora, for example, staff were told that we do not believe at this point postponement of any surgeries or procedures is necessary or advisable. But all of that was before Governor Jared Polis ordered an end to elective and non-essential procedures and surgeries starting Monday. It's just, it's just difficult. And it won't help Mon Ray. His symptoms. surgery wasn't elective to begin with. He's lost some feeling in his forearm and fingers, but his operation was called off. Why? He'd been hurt in Summit County, a hot spot for the virus that causes COVID-19. Even though I don't have any symptoms, I, I, I can't get tested for this, uh, for this virus to be able to go into the, the operating room. Kevin Vaughn, 9 News.